Hi guys! Welcome to the first official video in Game On's new studio setup here. Um, this video is actually going to be the first of a few that we do uh, showing some cool finds we uh, came across at local gaming shops. Yes, we found... well, there's a, there's a really cool game store in Newington, Connecticut. Uh, tabletop Adventures. So. We, I introduced Matt to them a couple days ago, and... We've been back twice in the span of maybe four days. Yeah. Um, and, and bought... Each of us bought things both times that we were there. And this actually was a pickup that Justin grabbed today. Uh, I, had, I saw it on the shelf when I was perusing uh, sort of their used and uh, secondhand and, and uh, I don't know if they were discounted gaming... Yeah. section and uh it kind of reminded me of a game that that i had played many years ago and and i showed it to justin who's a, a board game fiend and his eyes lit up and well long story short it now belongs to him <laughs> yeah no i i paid 20 bucks for this yeah so uh i've never played a ts well i've played a tsr board game before but never a like a a war game i assume this is so and he, he has legitimately not seen this game before, so this is him unboxing it and learning about it on live stream video. For yeah, to, to avoid uh, too much noise, I did take the cellophane off. <laughs> so it wasn't <laughs> as you guys are listening. But I can open it because I think that this will be cool. All right. So, so while you're doing that and exposing yourself to the... Uh, the wonders of TSR Wargaming, I will say that the, the games that I experienced uh, were based on Tom Clancy novels, uh, and they came out in the late 1980s, early 1990s. Uh, one for Red Storm Rising and one for uh, The Hunt for Red October. And my quick perusal of the box of this thing uh, made it look like this was the same system. So uh, that was sort of me recommending it to Justin when I saw that because those games were a lot of fun. And yeah, sure enough, uh, as I can sort of peer into the box here and see some of the, the cards and and which are unpunched, which is amazing for a game that's probably, you know, pushing 30 years old. Um, it's almost as old as me. <laughs> but not almost as old as me. Um, yeah, so, so this is exactly the same setup. I can see it from here. So that's very cool. Um, there are aircraft <laughs> ratings and um, Dungeons and Dra Dungeons and Dragons uh, stuff. Yeah. Old school, <laughs> original TSR Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Yeah. Ooh, customer response card <laughs> <laughs> with an address that no longer exists. Um, but yeah, so so there's there's unit markers for like tanks and naval units and aircraft, um, and the the flag the damage markers are all the same. So yeah, this setup is, is basically exactly what, uh, what I remember from, from Red Storm Rising and The Hunt for Red October. So that's super exciting. There's an ad for a 1992 Dragonlance calendar in there. Do you think if I buy it, it'll be what, helpful now? Yeah, and it cost 63 cents and <laughs> some cereal box tops too, right? Here, let's oh boy. get the bottom of the box out of the way there. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> A pretty big board. <laughs> the world as you know it, or at least the Middle East. <laughs> the world as America knew it after 9-11. <laughs> I, I wonder how many of these borders have moved since this game was produced. I, it's got to be, they got to be uh, jiggered around a little bit. Um, anyway, so here. Yeah, we don't yeah, have to keep fine. it up. Well, so, um, first impressions, Justin. It looks like I need to figure out how to play it, because it looks fun. It's a war game. I will tell you that this system that I played many, many moons ago is not super complicated to, to master. Okay. It's detailed, uh, and the, the different military units have like a defense rating and an attack rating, the little numbers on the, on the cards there. Again, but, all unpunched, which is crazy. Yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> it's like almost a shame to punch them out to play yeah, the I know. game. <laughs> but I, you should, because it's a fun game. Um, anyway, uh, I think the larger point here is what cool 
finds can be had at your local gaming store or at least our semi local gaming store uh which was a great find because uh yeah this is this was awesome and and 20 bucks. a stupid good deal too <laughs> Yeah, only twenty dollars for this. It made in nineteen ninety one. Yep. So it even had um I had victory rules for or I had extra rules for um victory in the Gulf War. So they had little extra rules the, because we the, won. The first the first Gulf yeah, War. Yeah, well okay, not the one that's <laughs> still going on. Um but yeah, no, if that's they had only known. <laughs> oh no, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Um, this is a game that can be played with two people or a bunch. Um, so I have a hunch that Justin and I are going to be kicking the tires on this one pretty soon. Um, and we will certainly, in upcoming videos, show you some of the other cool stuff that we scored because there's a stack of things over there that uh, Justin got today too. And there's a stack in my car outside of stuff that I picked up. So uh, yeah, we'll probably do a few of these videos talking about them. Uh, but I think that's kind of it for now for this one. Um, but yeah. welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the new game on neighborhood, uh, the new setup. And uh, if you see anything on here that you'd like us to talk about more, please let us know. Yeah, well, or you know of anything that you want us to talk about, we take requests as always. Um, and uh, Look to be seeing you guys soon with a, another one of these videos. Huzzah. Until then, game on.